Hey YouTube family, this is Francie with Finding Joy. So I decided to kind of come out today and check out this Harbor Freight store. I've heard of it, I've heard YouTubers mention it about getting stuff from there. And um, I've received flyers from it sometimes, but I never had one that I could go to. So I'm gonna go in and check it out. I know it has a lot of tools and whatnot. I did see a generator, like it was like a, I think a $1,400 generator on clearance for $500. Yeah, it's a gas powered generator. So it's not something that um, I probably would want to have, but that is a deal. So I'm going to go in and check them out, and I'll let you guys know what I think. Talk to you later. Hey, YouTube. Okay. So I went to Harbor Freight, and I got a few things, so I'm going to show you what I got there. And um, I still look at things for my future plans, and I don't know when those are going to happen. But I know if I don't keep dreaming about them and keep planning for it, it will never happen. So, um, yeah. So the first thing, of course, mask. Okay, face mask. This was actually a pretty good deal. There's 10 in here, and there were $3.99. And I just bought a box for my daughter, who's going back to college and has to wear them all the time. And we do have cloth ones as well, but sometimes these are just convenient to grab. They're easier to breathe in as well. But um, she has a lot of cloth ones as well. But she's going to have to be wearing them every single day when she goes out. So I bought a box of, was it 50 or 30 I don't know. It was $18. But typically they run a dollar a mask. So that gets pretty pricey. But this, um, 10 of them for $4, that wasn't bad. So I got, you had to buy at least three to get that price so I bought four so yeah, that's all right we need them um, you know when I when I go to church I wear these in church a lot because they're easier to breathe in and sing in and stuff so um, and I have cloth ones too but it is what we are in right now we are just gonna have to wear masks um, whether we agree not agree doesn't matter it's just our it's what it is all right another thing I got we do a solar rope light. So excited. Uh, I think about, you know, like going to the RTR and stuff and going camping and uh, I still, I think about it. I'm hoping maybe in October I can go for a little weekend trip. But I'll have to take all three of my dogs because my daughter's at home. And I don't know that I would just hire somebody I don't know to come and stay in my home for the weekend. I don't know. I may check with the church that I'm going to. There may be somebody that could stay with them. So I didn't have to take all three of them. We'll see. I don't want my animals to keep me from doing to go in camping. So if I have to figure out how to take all of them, then that's... Whoa. All right. There was like this huge flash of lightning in front of me. It went all the way to the ground. Florida gets a lot of lightning. That was scary. All right, side note on the lightning. Whoa. Wow. All right, so I'm excited about this because I'll take these camping and, you know, put them out to keep little creatures away. I think that's what it's for. And then the last thing I got was just something I've been just filling my backyard with. These are little animals, solar lights. So I'm going to look like that old lady with all the solar lights in her yard. <laughs> yeah. Because yesterday we were at Bed Bath & Beyond getting my daughter's stuff for college, of course. And um, they had these little bugs. I don't know if they were lightning bugs. I don't know. But I hung them in a little tree that I have. And the light flashes. So at night. Like lightning bugs. So I'll take a picture of those and show you those. So these are three little animals hummingbird, a butterfly, and a dragonfly. So I'm going to get these in my backyard. So I'm back. Okay, I'm hearing raindrops. Oh, I was going to run into the family doll. I got to get some conditioner. All right, well, I'm going to cut this off so I can run in there before this gets too heavy. And uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. The thunder and lightning has been like right on top of this. Okay. 
everybody's really scared when just standing under the awning. So I got in the store and got my stuff, but now it is just really pouring rain. So I might walk down to the save a lot down there. Just like that floor out. There's my Jeep. Hi YouTube family. I finally attempted to get to my van. It's still raining really bad. The light, no, there's some lightning right there, but you can tell the storm is getting well there it is. It's not too far away. Maybe another one's coming. But I don't live very far from here, so I'm gonna try and get home really quick. Anyway, um, I went into Save a Lot to check that store out. I have one in Nashville, so I'm kind of familiar with it. Um, a lot of off-brand stuff. And sometimes it's brands like I remember from growing up. I'm like, oh, I remember that brand. So I don't know if they still make it or it's just leftovers from forever ago. I don't know. But I did find these wipes, Glow Disinfectant Wipes. It says antibacterial. Um, it says bleach free, but it says that it kills the flu virus and 99% of bacteria and viruses. So I'm assuming it's the same thing as Clorox wipes. Anytime I see wipes, I pick them up. Um, I'm gonna send some wipes with my daughter for college. And I also still have a lot of baby wipes that I can make into um, wipes, but I just don't wanna run out because I'm not seeing them in the stores. This is the first time I've seen anything at all about wipes since I moved to Florida. In Tennessee, I could find them at Walmart sometimes when they were like stocking them. I don't know if y'all can hear me because of this thunder. But anyway, I got that there. And then another thing I picked up are these plantain chips. And you might think, oh, why do you want those? Well, I used to live in West Africa. And one of the things I liked were plantain chips. And they would kind of, um, I remember them like grating them like we would grate cheese. You know, plantain's like a big banana. What else does it look like? But um, they would kind of grate it and then fry all that stuff. So, anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, it's just like a banana, but... It's good. You could use more salt, as always, but... I have high blood pressure. Not bad. Plantains, vegetable oil, and salt. So, can't be too bad. Of course, this little bag is almost 400 calories. You wouldn't think that. But, this might be a good snack in case I want chips or something. I can, I can eat this. I don't think it has any nutritional value. I'm not sure. Oh, potassium. Ooh, okay. I can get my potassium just like you would from a banana. All right. Enough about plantain chips. What I think I've decided about my healthy eating. I'm still doing it here and there. But with my daughter, like we went out to eat after church. We went to... Cracker Barrel. There's that lightning again. We went to Cracker Barrel and I get the grilled chicken strips and green beans and carrots but I got the dumplings too. So it's not the healthiest thing at all. And then so why she's still here, I think I'm just going to try and eat healthy when I can at home. Still drink juices during the day. I still have a lot of produce from when I bought the first time I went out So and fruit. So I'm going to make some juice tomorrow morning I think. And then um, when she goes to college and she's not there anymore, I then have no, oh wow, that lightning was right there. I'm waiting for the sound. Oh, there it is. I love a good lightning storm, but I don't like to be out in it. That's for sure. And the water right outside my Jeep, it's like, couple inches thick so it's a good thing I wear Crocs everywhere oh that lightning was right there it almost man all right I'm gonna try and get home 
and um, I may have to sit in my Jeep when I get home, but at least I'll be home. It's just down the road. Fortunately, I'm not very far. Hey, y'all be blessed, and um, I just wanted to share something a little different. I'm now I'm doing that one series, and um, I didn't post a video yesterday or today. That's okay. It's the weekend, but I'll get back to it on Monday. I just wanted to say hi and just do a different type of video. And um, I hope you all doing okay. I hope you're finding joy somewhere. Let me know where you found joy this week. Let's share. And maybe your sharing of your situation will bring joy to somebody else. So y'all take care, be blessed, and find joy.